What's happening? It's a little after midnight right now. It's already officially Thursday morning. I'm out and about, browsing about, listening to my um, MP3 here. And I think I, I give a little, speaker, I give a little commentary about classic rock stations. Don't mind the noise in the background. We got some sort of generator going on here. I'm behind a grocery store here, the same one where my sister works. Now I tried to do a little, make a, I've already made a video about this, but I never got a chance to upload it on my channel here because I accidentally deleted it. Stupid me. So I figure I uh, take, uh, take to this subject right now. Now, let me start off with a little introduction here. Back in, uh, 19, in the early 1980s, when I was a teenager, we had a radio station called WLLZ. It was called Detroit's Wheels. It would play uh, a lot of the uh, current rock that was out there and some of the old classic rock that we know and love, like Skinner, Boston, Van Halen. And it would also play stuff like what was currently like that time, like... Um, Golden Earring, who had that song Twilight Zone, uh, running a muck on the radio at that time. Uh, they would add a little stuff like In Excess, before they broke big with that album Kick, years later. All the good stuff, basically. When uh, radio was really radio, when you was listening to good stuff out there, when it was really, uh, you never know what was going to play. They would play stuff like bands like Planet P Project, a trio called Zebra. Bands that really never got looked over. They may have been, I uh, had this hit, one hit there, one hit there, and just, uh, that was about it. WLOC, of course, years later on, will later die out and become another station. That's unfortunately. Now, it was announced months back that WLLZ would be coming back to the Detroit Airwaves. Did I mention this? This is back in Detroit. Yeah, I just read it. Did hence the name Detroit's Wheels. And it was going to be in the spot where W4 used to be, WWWW, which is an old uh, radio station. It later became a uh, rock station, it became a uh, jazz station, a hip-hop station for a while. It went through so many changes, it, you couldn't even keep track. Anyways, it was announced that um, WLLZ would be coming back to the airwaves as a classic rock station. Now, it's fine and dandy and all that, and all that's good. We have a this, uh, classic rock station called the Eagle here in the Houston in the uh, Houston area. Now, my only concern about classic rock station, this is my big gripe with it, is um, simply the same stuff being played over and over and over and over. See, there's another classic rock station called WCSX. When that first debuted in 1988, it was a lot of people draw a lot of viewers, a lot of listeners, I should say, because it played a lot of classic stuff and then some. Stuff that should have been classic. Stuff that should, that we have only heard a couple times before in the past. And then we hear again, it's like, holy cow, I haven't heard this song in a long damn time. But in time, um, it would just become the same old, same old, same old. A lot of times you used to hear that station play at, a, at an old plastics factory when I was living in Richmond, Richmond Michigan, for, prior to moving back to Detroit, it would be the same old stuff, same old shit. Same old, more than a feeling. Same old, 
You Really Got Me, the Van Halen version. The same old You Really Got Me by the Kinks. The same old Start Me Up by the Rolling Stones. The same old um, Can't Get No Satisfaction by the Stones as well. The same old Feel Like Making Love. The same old um, Walk This Way by Aerosmith or Sweet Emotion. Stuff that we were, that we have, I have heard countless of fucking times before. No more, I don't want to hear it. Now, the Eagle, which is the classic rock station in Houston, up and strays away from those songs. They may play those songs once in a while, but they also play also classic Botley Crew, classic Guns N' Roses. They'll play a little bit of uh, stuff here and there, like classic Sammy Hagar, like um, I'll Fall in Love Again, the song Heavy Metal, or uh, that one song he did with um, Mike Reno of Loverboy called Heroes. It's good hearing that song. I haven't heard that in ages. Three Lock Box. We haven't heard anything from Sammy Hagar's first band, Matros. Recipes Ronnie Matros, by the way. He was the leader of that group and guitarist for that band. Yeah, they had that song called Little Motor Scooter. And uh, Rock Candy. They had some of the, those are pretty good stuff. Lisa Eagle played some of those tracks, thank goodness. I just hope he, uh, WLLZ back in Detroit would do the exact same because if I'm just, and speaking for myself and a couple others out there, like I said, we don't need. I don't really need to hear feel like making love 20 times in a row. Like, give me an example. Speaking about, like I said, bad company. Yeah, you could probably play Feel Like Making Love or the song Bad Company, but also, also give us a little something different. Play something like um, an album they did in 1979 called Desolation Angels. Or better yet, a song song called uh, Rough... An album called Rough Diamonds from 82. They had a song called, I think it was called Electric Land. They can play something from that record. Or bet he has surprised the fuck out of us by playing, playing something from an 86 album called Fame and Fortune, which didn't feature Paul Rogers, but a dude named Brian Howell on vocals. Play us some cuts from that. Give us a surprise. Test us. Test me. Test see if I remember this tune. Instead of playing the same old Sweet Child of Mine or the same old um, Welcome to the Jungle or Don't Cry, give us something like um, Dust and Bones, which had Izzy Stratling on vocals. Yeah, speaking of Guns N' Roses, by the way, yep. Yeah. Give us something like, um, let's say, um, not just, I was going to say Civil War, but that gets played on the radio a few times. Uh, give us something like, um, let's see, something from Use Your Illusion that we haven't heard for forever, like Breakdown. Or something like, um, from the Spaghetti Incident. The cover of Charles Manson's Look at Your Game Girl. Give us a, give, that would be a great shot. Give us a uh, surprise the fuck out of us. Either way. If you, in fact, here's something else. I even suggest this. I heard about this on another program. Plastic rock stations will probably uh, advertise, they say, Judas Priest coming into this arena pretty soon. And now they'll play, instead of playing something from the new record, Firepower, which came out a couple years back, They'll just go back to playing to the same old um, 
breaking the law, got another thing coming, or heading out to the highway. Songs are ready to know like the back of our hand. Play something from the new record. Kind of remembers, in fact, it kind of resembles Screaming for Vengeance, that record, when you think about it. Give us something from Unleash in the East, that awesome live record they put out in 1979. Awesome fucking record. Great album to play when you're heading downtown to go to a nightclub. Give us something like um, Don't Go from Point of Entry. Or better yet, uh, Take These Chains from Screaming for Vengeance. Give us The Sentinel from um, Defenders of the Faith. Another awesome ass record. Play something from, uh, let's say, Wild Nights, Hot and Crazy Days from Turbo. Once again, surprise me. Surprise all of us. It may be a new track, old track, but it's for long as it's by a classic artist. Blossom. We know more than the feeling, peace of mind, foreplay, slash, long time, don't look back. How about giving us some other than just those tracks, but something like um, a good ballad like A Man I'll Never Be, or Used to Bad News, something from the third album, like um, Can't You Say, slash, Still in Love, Holly Ann, or I Think I Like It. Something from a 94 album called Walk On, like uh, What's Your Name, which had a different singer, by the way. I think it was Frank Cosmo, if I'm correct, other than the late Brad Delp. Once again, to all the classic rock stations, don't just play the same old stuff over and over and over and over. Surprise us. Put our minds to the test. Let us guess if we remember this or not. Quiz us. Okay? You know, keep our minds, musical minds in check, you know. That's real radio right there. That's true classic radio right there, folks. Okay, back to my walk. I'm Dr. Earl. Thank you for watching this. Leave your comments below. Hit that like button. And most of all, subscribe to my channel. I bring the information to you. Free of charge. And shout out to, to the Super Ugly Show, Rocky and Jessica. For the awesome challenge you presented with me last night. I topped it. I got a good prize in the mail. I'll be probably be um, definitely um, getting that on videotape if they want me to. Anyways, take care, guys.